Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we are going to generate the detailed concept about the fundamentals of materials handling. This video is the first class of our course on materials handling and maintenance engineering. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Material handling. Material handling is the movement, storage, protection and control of materials throughout the manufacturing and distribution process including their consumption and disposal. The handling of materials must be performed safely, efficiently, at low cost, in a timely manner. Accurately, the right materials in the right quantities to the fight locations, and without damage to the materials. In other words, material handling is an art and a science that involves the movement, storage, control, and protection of material with the objective of providing time and place utility. In this figure, we can see the six major categories of technical topics related to production systems, which are to be known in the study of materials handling. Prime objectives of material handling include the followings. Minimize cost of material handling. Minimize delays and interruptions by making available the materials at the point of use at right quantity and at right time. Increase the productive capacity of the production facilities by effective utilization of capacity and enhancing productivity. Safety in material handling through improvement in working condition. Maximum utilization of material handling equipment. Prevention of damages to materials. And finally, lower investment in process inventory. Now, let's have a look at the principles followed in material handling. The planning principle, all material handling should be the result of a deliberate plan where the needs, performance objectives and functional specification of the proposed methods are completely defined at the outset. The standardization principle, material handling methods, equipment, controls and software should be standardized within the limits of achieving overall performance objectives and without sacrifice and needed flexibility, modularity and throughput anticipation of changing future requirements. The work principle, material handling work should be minimized without sacrificing productivity or the level of service required of the operation. Principles of material handling. The ergonomic principle, human capabilities and limitations must be recognized and respected in the design of material handling tasks and equipment to ensure safe and effective operations. The unit load principle, unit loads shall be appropriately sized and configured in a way which achieves the material flow and inventory objectives at each stage in the supply chain. The space utilization principle, effective and efficient use must be made of all available space. The system principle, material movement and storage activities should be fully integrated to form a coordinated, operational system which spans receiving, inspection, storage, production, assembly, packaging, unitizing, order selection, shipping, transportation and the handling of returns. The automation principle, material handling operations should be mechanized and or automated where feasible to improve operational efficiency, increase responsiveness improve consistency and predictability. The environmental principle, environmental impact and energy consumption should be considered as criteria when designing or selecting alternative equipment and material handling systems. And finally, the life cycle cost principle, a through economic analysis should account for the entire life cycle of all material handling equipment and resulting systems. So, we have learnt about material handling prime objectives of material handling, and the principles followed in material handling, in details. In the next video, we will discuss in details, about classification of materials. Thank you.